Ciao a tutti ragazzi, bentornati sul canale, io sono Ludens e in questo video oltre a mostrarvi l'intera performance di Low Roar volevo raccontarvi quella che è stata la mia esperienza al concerto che si è tenuto al Germi di Milano il 10 dicembre. Premetto che ho vissuto questa avventura senza Roberto, senza Ichigo, uh, sono stato a Milano con la mia ragazza e fatta questa piccola premessa vi do due info veloci sul concerto. Il concerto si è tenuto in questo locale chiamato Germi, luogo di contaminazione, un piccolo circolo privato al di fuori del centro di Milano e il tour consisteva in uh, tour in solitaria diciamo nessun synth nessuna tastiera niente di elettronico soltanto chitarra basso piano e voce basta solo lui sul palco è stato veramente fantastico poi comunque lo vedrete già da voi è allucinante sono arrivato al Germi per le 5 del pomeriggio anche se il concerto era alle 9 perché avevo veramente paura di trovarmi in fondo sorpresa numero 1 lì ho incontrato sorpresa non era perché ci eravamo organizzati ma ho incontrato Luca eh, reporter Bridges su YouTube il ragazzo che aveva liccato il trailer di Artman e che saluto tantissimo e ringrazio per la bella serata passata insieme sorpresa numero 2 non c'era nessuno c'eravamo soltanto io la mia ragazza Luca i gestori del germi baristi eccetera e Ryan era già lì c'era Ryan e i suoi aiutanti basta stavano montando il palco si stava sistemando tutte le lampadine eccetera ci ha salutato e ha continuato a fare le sue cose noi eravamo lì che lo guardavamo come dire cazzo ma è presto poi Barlume doveva fare il soundcheck, abbiamo avuto modo di assistere al soundcheck, eravamo soltanto in tre noi, poi se non sbaglio è arrivato anche qualcun altro ma non sono sicuro, ero troppo concentrato, non ho video del soundcheck perché mi sono completamente goduto uh, il pomeriggio, dalle 5 all'inizio concerto ho fatto veramente due riprese inutili che non sto neanche a mettere, questa atmosfera molto intima unita alle ridotte dimensioni, del, del luogo e al ridottissimo numero di partecipanti ci hanno permesso di scambiare qualche parola con Ryan prima e dopo il concerto e si è dimostrato essere una persona veramente gentile, disponibile e anche simpatica uh, ha fatto qualche battuta sul gioco perché avevo la maglia e la collana poi vabbè vedrete, <ride> vedrete dopo durante il video uh, gli abbiamo chiesto perché uh, avesse voluto fare il concerto a questa maniera senza portarsi dietro i membri della band e lui semplicemente ha detto che voleva fare una cosa diversa trasmettere emozioni che non sarebbe stato possibile trasmettere eh, con una cosa troppo elaborata, con un sacco di synth, un sacco di effetti, di lei, riverbe, robe varie. Ci siamo presi una birra, abbiamo brindato, abbiamo chiacchierato, ci siamo seduti su un divanetto, niente di troppo colloquiale, eh, nel senso non è che ci abbiamo chiacchierato tre ore di fila, però ecco abbiamo avuto modo di parlarci ogni tanto e... Cosa ho portato a casa da questa esperienza? Ho portato innanzitutto un ricordo fantastico che probabilmente non dimenticherò mai perché io eh, non, non lo nascondo, è il mio artista preferito, me lo ascolto tutti i giorni da tipo due anni, so quasi tutte le canzoni a memoria, infatti mi pento amaramente di non essere andato a cantare Bones con lui perché mi vergognavo e comunque sia non mi sarei proprio mai aspettato un, una disponibilità del genere, l'essere così alla mano e così disponibile con... Eh, chi è venuto al tuo concerto non è una cosa da tutti perché io mi aspettavo che lui facesse il suo sound cioè che poi andasse giù si riposasse tornasse invece sta tutta la sera lì a farsi i cazzi suoi parlava con le persone andava fuori a fumarsi le sigarette veramente una bellissima impressione e poi di fisico mi sono portato a casa due cd autografati ne ho presi solo due perché ne avevo ordinato uno online ma non mi, è, non mi è arrivato in tempo anzi non è ancora arrivato infatti mi gira il cazzo che è Once in a Long Long While non volevo ricomprarlo non ho preso neanche Ross perché mi, avevo pochi soldi volevo farmi anzi un bel pranzo il giorno dopo farmi una bella giornata insomma ho preso l'Aurora che è il primissimo autografato qua e quello che più mi stava a cuore perché dentro c'è il Keep Coming che è Zero Eccolo qua con l'autografo Dove cazzo sta? Dentro Dentro qua E ragazzi niente l'intro è finita Vi lascio giusto qualche clip stupida pre concerto Mentre andavamo siamo usciti dall'albergo eccetera Spero che il video vi piaccia eh, Ricordatevi di lasciare un like Iscrivervi al canale Ed attivare la campanella Per rimanere sempre aggiornati sui video in uscita Un saluto dai Crew Dudes Anche se sono da solo E godetevi il concerto Ciao Quarto piano e ora si scende, si aspetta. Se carica 6. Quanto si carica da 1 a 10? 20. Minchia. Stiamo andando al concerto. Sì, sei vago. Siamo, siamo qua così, spero si veda perché non, non ho mai usato bene il gimbal in vita mia. E adesso l'abbiamo messo aspetta su Max. Non 
Dovremmo essere relativamente vicini al, al Germi e Stasera tra l'altro c'è del bordello perché c'è anche la partita Credo sia Inter Barcellona a San Siro E anche al nostro albergo c'erano dei tifosi del Barcellona e Giustamente ad esempio io non tifo un cazzo Quindi perfetto così È andato mm -hmm. Ok perfetto allora, visto che è andato, si parte. Dovremmo teoricamente andare di qua, poi di là. No? Sono sicuro che è qui. Sì, è sì, c'è scritto Germi. Quindi ragazzi, adesso entriamo, vi saluto che devo fare i biglietti. Am I coming in clear? 
idea of um, doing this tour solo and kind of um, stripped down playing the songs how I'd kind of written them and um, telling stories behind the songs and, uh, and, and stuff but I think I'm not going to do that right this second I'm just going to skip right to it and, uh, and we'll talk about it as we move along but thank you guys for being here, I really appreciate it.
It's our moment, forever sealed in time. It's our secret, as much yours as is mine. And our logic, we have surely left defied. And I will hold you until I so much right now. I'm just going to play for a bit and then I'll, I'll have it out after, if you know the song. And also, uh, which is, I always really liked when everybody was quiet during these songs, um, because I'm kind of writing them how I wrote them. But if you know them and you want to sing along, uh, go on. Sing along if you want to. Um, I didn't write a set list, I'm just making stuff up as we go, so let's see how this goes.
take anything you want from me. So come in, come in, come in. Take anything you So come in, come in, come in Take anything you want from me
have you picked yourself a baby? People change and time is moving fast. But don't be fooled, we're in no rush. At all. the same, but something's changed here. You follow each and every step, my dear. I swore I'd never let you in.
song called Bones? Yes. 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 So I can play it, yeah. but I'll only play it um, if, um, if somebody joins me and sings her part next to me on the piano. So if anybody knows the second part of it, I'll play the song. But if nobody joins me, I'm not going to play the song. So it's up to you. And if you didn't join me, but if, wait, 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 wait! I know I got you talking. Give me a second. You would be the first place out of this whole tour that nobody joined me, and you don't want to be that one. So it's just food for thought. I'll play something else first, and um, think about it. You have one song to think about it. If you don't know the words, you better get your phones out and start to figure out the words right now. And, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, so this next song, I know I got you guys talking, I know, and I'm sorry that I, I should just cut and keep my mouth shut. But this next song, if you want to sing along, feel free. I never performed this song. This was one of the songs that I felt really happy about writing, and then I ended up hating, so I never performed it. And I refused to perform it. Um, but now I'm doing it here. Um, so if you want to, sing along. If, if you don't, don't. <laughs> Enemies. Keeping off the ocean. 
Give it up for Sam. That takes a bit of time.
Tuesday. I don't think there's a prompt in for it anyway. Um, so, I'm going to tell you a little story. If you don't mind, do you want to hear a story? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> it's actually a funny story, but, it's, but I'm not going to do it because I'll throw my dad under the bus a bit. But, um, um, Last year I was dating um, a, a girl from Poland, and um, yeah, well, I live in Poland now, so yeah. <laughs> and um, she had uh, these really beautiful blue eyes, and I had woken up, woke up in the morning, and I went and sat down on this little step, and uh, I started playing this thing, and as I started playing it, she looked up at me, and was staring at me, and she was um, she was an interesting character. She didn't have a lot of uh, emotion, so she kind of just looked at me straight on, and uh, and I said this line, and then I, I just wrote the whole song right there in one like, and stared at her and said it, and uh, it's kind of like my lullaby that I wrote for her while she was laying in my bed and I was sitting on this stool, and. Um, I disregarded the song, and then when we had done the last album, we'd finished it in Margate, and uh, when we came back at like 3.30 in the morning to celebrate the finishing of the album, I asked Mike, I said, hey, we, can I just record this thing really fast? And Mike's a very lazy man. For, he's not, I'm not, I don't mean he like, yeah, he's lazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have to always push him a bit, like, come on, Mike, we can... So I was like, just come on, just get the microphone out, just put it through the tape machine, and we'll do it one take. I don't need two mics, just put one there, I'll sing and play into the same mic, old school style. And we did it, and then after it, he was like, oh, that's fucking great. And, and so then we put it on the album, and, um, and it's this little lullaby that I wrote for a girl with blue eyes. Sorry for anybody who has chrome brown, but I, my, my dad's got blue, but I, I've, got, I've got the brown ones. But this is the lullaby. Some down on my knees 
knees Giving all that can please my blue eyes Oh my home, it's a wreck But my life feels the best seen through blue eyes Well I won't be here for long but I'll see you in the next My blue eyes well, I won't be here for long But I'll see you in the next My blue eyes song from the video game, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just learned it again uh, just to fuck with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, is there anything that anybody really that wants to hear? Or can, should I just keep continue going on? Sorry if that was an asshole move. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Do I can continue if you, does anybody else know the words? No, never mind. Yeah. No. I, I forgot, I remember the end, but the funny part is... Okay, I'll tell you a funny story about yeah. that. <laughs> so, the one girl that I was dating... I know it always comes to that, huh? But, um... She, um... She was from Sweden. And, um... I had thought I was going to make a really happy record, and I was laying in bed, and uh, I had found out that she had been kind of cheating on me. And uh, I was basically living with her in Stockholm and I was, I was back in Poland. It's probably just, it's probably just the bar noise, anyways. Um, so, you know, the, the line is like, you know, when, it's like having a panic attack, you know, it's, wait, heavy pose. Bloody eyes, sweaty clothes, a routine that I've learned to understand and know. But then, like, don't take yourself so serious, so it's don't be so serious. And at the end of the song, goes like. Tattooed on the, my my fucking tip, right here. <laughs> and, and um, 
I didn't think that, because nobody gave a shit when that song came out. So I thought I was in the clear, and then all of a sudden Hideo Kojima used it as a fucking intro. So now, uh, you know, maybe she's riding in all her glory with Norman Reedus' asshole sticking up. So, um, so I won't sing that last part of it, but that's why. <laughs> Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being bad. Sometimes, sometimes I'm on it. Sometimes maybe I'm a bit on it and a bit silly. So maybe I should just shut up tonight. This is a um, this is a song. Uh, I'm gonna do two of them, but. Um, just about like Pete, how the how the way people can move in and out of your lives, and um, you know, at at some point you kind of forget. Like, like my mother cheated on my father, and that's why they got divorced. You know, but now they're at peace with it, and um, you know, I'm at peace with my ex-wife, and it, it's it's kind of the realization maybe when you're going through life that um, yeah, maybe you know, shit happens, and you sort it out in the long run because. Uh, the inevitable is that you're gonna fucking croak at the end of it, and uh, um, you find your way. If you really cared about somebody, um, you'll find a way just to be all right with them in the long run. And I think this was kind of about that, uh, about somebody that I, I felt like I wasn't, but then, um, but then I, at the end of it, I kind of knew that you know, they were obviously an important part of my life. There's like a camera up there, I just noticed. <laughs> Am I on? I should be on. I think I'm muted. <laughs>
But I don't need you I don't need you And I need you
walks me right away like a beast inside his cage. It's easy to play church from the outside looking. If you want me to play, I'll play it. Yeah, yeah right. sure.
60 minutes and then I can leave and then if you guys want me back you clap and I come back but there's nowhere for me to go <laughs> so I'm just pouring it on you and because we have um, we have a show tomorrow in the Vienna so we have to do an overnight drive so I think this is going to be the last one that I do for you guys I just wanted to say thank you I really appreciate it I didn't expect this thank you so much and uh, This song is, uh, this is for you guys, this one. Let me in front of 
práce. 